What's up guys, I'm LQ, this is the LQ Review, thank you so much for joining me here at my YouTube channel. This is where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows, if it's geeky, if it's nerdy, this is where I like to talk about it right here. And guys, right now, I want to give you guys my take on Star Trek Discovery Season 3, Episode 3, and I loved it. I loved it. I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't believe I'm saying that I loved a CBS All Access Star Trek. But I did. I really enjoyed this a lot. Um, I like this even more than Picard. And I did. I was a big fan of Picard. I have not been a big fan of Discovery. I liked Season 1 of Discovery. I did not like Season 2 of Discovery. So far for me, Season 3 has been killing it. It's been killing it. Um, by the way, I hated Lower Decks. I didn't even finish Lower Decks. It was awful. It was an insult to Star Trek. Now that I got that out of the way, back to Discovery. Um... I've always said that my biggest gripe with CBS Star Trek, CBS All Access Star Trek, is that they don't understand Star Trek. They don't understand, they don't get it, they don't know what to do with the property they have because they fundamentally don't understand it. They want to make Star Trek something that it's not. They want to make Star Trek into a, um, into a, 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 a SJW show. Or they want to make it into a uh, reflection of modern society show where, where let's talk about drug drug addiction, let's talk about alcohol abuse, let's talk about let's talk about um, um, you know the homophobic nature of some some people in America, of some groups in America. You know they want to talk about these things and make it a show about those things. Star Trek is not about those things. Star Trek is about the betterment of mankind. Star Trek is about mankind rising above those things. And, and I don't know, there, there was a scene in this episode where, um, um, one of the characters, um, they, they, he, he mentioned, um, th they, they make it to earth and there's an earth defense force. Remember, this is far in the future, like 900 years in the future or something like that. And they make it to earth and there's an earth defense force that comes out and stops them. And he's like, Oh, I see people on earth just as tolerant as the rest of the galaxy. I'm sorry, that's not Star Trek. Star Trek, the expectation is to be tolerant. The expectation is that people, people accept people of all walks of life, all colors, all, all, all religions, all um, sexual preferences. That, that, that's the expectation in Star Trek. So to have a character, I see that people on Earth are just as intolerant, are just as tolerant as the rest of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> He's not talking to her. In in that in that scene, he wasn't talking to Michael. He was talking to us. It was a lesson. Lesson. That's not Star Trek. That's not Star Trek. Star Trek is presenting a world that's already better. It's not presenting a world that 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 we we can be better. It's presenting a world that's already better. And CBS Access has never been that. It wasn't that in Picard. The world was not better. Yeah, it didn't. It hasn't been that in Star Trek Discovery. The world has not been better. In Star Trek, Star Trek: Next Generation, Star Trek: Voyager, Star Trek: Deep Space Nine, in all the Star Trek that that we have loved, that the fans have loved, Star Trek, the people were better. They were tolerant. They worked to service mankind. They worked to service humanity. They were accepting. I mean, that's the type of thing that gets under my skin. Star Trek is not a soapbox. It's a platform. It's a platform to show something better. A soapbox is something that you stand on and you say, This is how you should all be. Or, This should be your attitude. Look how intolerant people are. Let's try to fix that. It's not what Star Trek is. It's not a soapbox. It's a platform where people can stand up and they can show a better world. They can show a better form of humanity. That's me on my soapbox. Let me get off of it because I really like this episode. Other than that, I really like this episode. Um, this, you know, so episode one, focus on Michael Burnham landing in the future episode two focused on discovery landing in the future about a year later than michael did this is them meeting up and um trying to uh 
adjust to their new world and trying to figure out what the heck happened to the Federation because the Federation is no more. So to get answers, they go to Earth to try to find um, who wrote the last message um, it, 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 that was broadcast by the Federation. And when they get back to Earth, they find that Starfleet is no more. And there's now an Earth Defense Force and the Earth Defense Force is at first hostile towards them but then this other alien group comes in because they want to steal the dilithium because now dilithium is a very coveted um resource and you got a three-way um standoff discovery and and the alien race and the earth defense force and it makes for some tension it makes for some fun it makes for um a chessboard speaking of chess it makes for some chessboard that um has a lot of moving pieces and it's just uh, a really good time, and it felt it, it felt kind. I mean, the way that the conflict was presented, it really felt like old school Trek, and then it made sense why it felt like old school Trek when I saw the credits because this episode was directed by Jonathan Frakes, and um, and that was obvious. Uh, it just made sense. It clicked in my brain when I saw that. I was like, that's why it felt like that because it was Jonathan Frakes directing it. Um, so it's still not perfect Trek. It's still not perfect Trek, but this was good Star Trek. And that's more than I can say for most of CBS All Access stuff. This was better than anything in season one of Discovery. And keep in mind, I didn't hate season one of Discovery. I didn't particularly like it either, but I didn't hate it. This was better than anything in season one. Way better than anything in season two. And, uh, I like this episode better than most episodes of Picard. This just felt better. Um, and I think a lot of the reason is because of, it's because they're outside the box now. They're outside the box. When when you tell a Star Trek story in the past or in between time, you know, in between, like, well, here we've got, um, um, you know, Captain Archer's Enterprise. Here we've got Captain Kirk's Enterprise. We're going to have to fit Discovery into here somewhere. You know, Pike is the captain here, so we got to fit them into here. There's a box. They can't go outside the box. Now they're way in the future where the Federation doesn't exist. They can play outside the box now. They can draw outside of the lines, and I think it gives them more freedom to tell some of the stories that I think they're interested in telling for whatever reason. Um, I've always been interested in a future post The Next Generation where um, the Federation had fallen, and now they're, they're acting as rebels. I don't know that that's what we're getting here, but... I'm still interested in the idea of a future where the Federation existed, then it didn't. So I'm still very optimistic moving forward that this is going to have a good story um, for the, you know, a good season story. But so far, the first three episodes, they've done a great job, especially with this third one. My take. Do you agree with me? Have you liked Star Trek Discovery Season 3 so far? Let me know in the comments down below. A lot of people don't like Discovery, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out a lot of content. want to make sure you're up to date with everything I'm doing. And as always, thank you for joining me here on the LQ Review, where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff we love to talk about. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.